Cover two sync out of the Dime 146 formation might very well be one of the better blitzes in Madden 25. It's a very simple blitz to run. It's a very effective blitz to run, and it only literally requires one adjustment. Cover two sync out of the Carolina Panthers defensive playbook. Real quick tip for this is put a fast guy at this defensive end position. It will help the blitz significantly. And let's just get right into it. Now, if you want to learn more about this defense or defense in general, make sure that you join our school community, school.com slash Cody Bauer. That's where you can get access to all of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as our college offensive and defensive ebooks. You can sign up for that site at the link in the description below. So the setup for the blitz here, very simple. As I said, it's only one step. All we're going to do is we're going to hit R1 twice. Literally hit R1 twice, and that's pretty much the blitz setup. And what you want to do is just run down with your user, and what you'll see is we'll get this little disengage on this left side. Now, a lot of times, this disengage will actually cause a loop from that outside linebacker. That's why you want a fast guy, because he will actually loop around, and there you see we get that nice contain glitch, and we're able to get a four-man pressure at the quarterback. Again, all you're doing is you're hitting R1 twice, and then you're just basically letting the play run and you see he loops right around super effective as you can see it's probably the best blitz in the game at launch just in terms of the simplicity of it you're hitting r1 twice that's the entire blitz i definitely think that standing down here uh, as opposed to like if you were to stand like let's say you were to stand like right here they can change how they pick this blitz up just based off where your user stands so what i like to do is if i'm gonna stand over the center basically, then I want to go ahead and make sure that I'm gonna shoot like this. And oftentimes that will cause that loop from that defensive end or that disengage. So the better, I think, location as far as standing is really just kind of back in here so that we can trigger kind of pulling the line to the right here. And there you see now we get that loop from that linebacker. So again, I think it's really effective if we just simply pull the defense by using kind of in this right side B gap as you see, we're getting this every single time when we do that. Now, you might say, Cody, well, what happens if they block a running back? What happens if they block a tight end? A lot of times this blitz actually can still come in even if they were to do that. So you see here, blocked running back, and this thing comes in so fast. Running back did pick it up, but a lot of times you're going to get that in even if they are blocking running back. Now, if you wanted to send five with this, what you can do is you can actually send that linebacker that is on that side. So it's the same setup. Now we're just going to send that linebacker. Again, the user is basically the same here. And when you send that linebacker, all of a sudden now it's going to make that a little bit more consistent, especially if they block a running back. So when they block a running back, when you send this linebacker off the left side, a lot of times what will happen is that running back will like step up to block the linebacker and that looper will loop around of the blitzer. So really kind of a fun defense here. And then let's say they flip their formation. If they flip your formation, what I like to do is just flip my formation as well. And basically, it'll line up perfectly for us on that right-hand side. And as you see, we're kind of getting the same concept over there. So obviously, this blitz works a little bit better as long as the tight end is not over it because the tight end can mess with the blitz angle. But if you wanted to, you can always try to basically bring this guy in like so. And sometimes this can actually get you pressure off of both sides. As you see, this loop just absolutely screams off of the edge. So... At right, as of right now, this is probably one of my favorite defenses in the game just because it's so good at getting consistent pressure against five out. It's super hard to block a running back against this because you could send the linebacker, you could send the opposite side slot corner. So at launch, this is a pretty good little defensive mini scheme out of the Dime 146. And if you want to get my entire uh, breakdown of this formation, make sure that you're in our school community. We're dropping a ton of updates early on in the game, making sure that you're always up to date on what's going on, what's good, what's not good, why is it good. All of those things are being brought to our school community members. And again, the link to sign up for that page is going to be down in the description below.